morning. Happy first day of school. I'm really gonna try and vlog today. Well, look, I finally did something decorative to my room. <laughs> now time to fix this. I haven't vlogged my morning in a really long time, so I kind of don't really know what to do. Also, I got an actual full-on bed yesterday. It was a big day for the apartment life. It's currently like 8.40 in the morning. Which is very late for me to be starting my mornings, but the last few days I have been getting up early and not sleeping like a full eight hours, and I need me a full eight hours. Today I really wanted to make sure that I slept in because, you know, who knows when my next opportunity to do that will be, and who would have thought that like the first day of school would be an opportunity to do that, but you know, I feel like I don't even know how to do a morning routine because the camera is on. If y'all want like an actual morning routine, I could try and do that. Once I like actually get into a routine. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about the first day of school. It's currently Thursday. College has never started on a Thursday. This is only my second year in college, but my brother went to college three years before me and that never happened. So I'm kind of upset about it, honestly. So I haven't filmed anything over the last, I guess, two, three weeks whenever I posted that What I Eat a Week video. I feel like I've tried to pick up the camera a few times and there's been plenty of opportunity that I've thought about. Oh, this would be so fun to vlog and then I just didn't do it. That's kind of been the story of my life. <laughs> I like think about it and then when it gets to the moment I'm like, oops, I forgot my camera or well, I didn't film any of that. This morning I was like trying to be super intentional about remembering to pick up my camera so that I could vlog the first day of school. Also, my birthday is next week, so I'm thinking about maybe doing a little birthday vlog. I've never been one to do that, but I would love to do that. This semester, I'm really trying to be more intentional about filming. Even if I film and don't know when the heck I'm gonna have time to edit it, I feel like I need to be okay with that because it will get edited at some point and it will still be okay to watch also something i'm trying to be more intentional with is my quiet time in the mornings. i have not been doing good with that the last few weeks just because i've been out of routine so much like during my summer class i feel like i was doing good because i had a routine at least but then like the last two weeks after that i just really haven't known when i'm gonna work i haven't known when i'm gonna do things when i'm gonna be home i need to have some quality time with the lord this morning because we have not been doing that i feel like i should probably pick out what i'm gonna wear but i don't really know what i'm gonna I really don't care what I wear, so I don't need to obsess over it. I think this just needs to be my first day of school shirt, like from now on, because that's what I wore last year with this sweater. So, did I even tell you my plan for today? I literally only have one class and it's at 12. Normally on Thursdays, I would also have to work in the morning, but I didn't do that for this week because I wanted to get adjusted. I made some banana bread, so I'm just gonna cut probably two like skinny pieces. And then I microwave it. And there's breakfast. She might not look too cute, but she is literally so good. Now I'm going to probably just gonna start with looking through my one online class, writing down all the dates for that. But first, matcha. Okay, so I discovered this way of making matcha. And I will not make it like this all the time because I know there's a ton of sugar in it, but it is so good. I got this coconut milk and this juice, the white Korean strawberry, to try and make pink drinks. So the drink that I would make with them was good. It tasted good, it was a nice treat, but it wasn't a pink drink to me. I played around with like a bunch of different ratios, so I don't feel like it was that. I experimented, I was like, this would probably taste really good with matcha. Instead of doing milk, I did like half of this and half of this. The first time I made it, it like slapped so hard. It was so good. I made it for my night shift, but then like the second time I made it, it was kind of watery. I'm not sure. We're just gonna see how it turns out this time. Also, it could have been because the first time I added sweetener plus did this because I didn't know I was gonna do this particular drink, so I added sweetener, so then it was like extra sweet. And then I'm just gonna make it like my normal matcha, hot water, and the matcha powder. Oh, I cannot believe I have school today. That's insane. The emails they were sending out all summer made it seem like we were going full capacity. And I was like, I'm sorry, but that is not the smartest thing to do. Like, we can't just jump full on in. And then they emailed the other day and said we were going to be wearing masks. So I did half this juice and then half coconut milk. It definitely doesn't taste like matcha. To me, there's not much matcha taste to it, but it's laughs like it's so good. Like it doesn't taste like if you were just to do the coconut milk and the juice. Like it does have a different taste than that. This drink I like better and it has caffeine in it. I think it's pluses all around. While I'm distracted, I'm gonna go ahead and make my lunch. I need to like freaking get this fixed because I'm gonna take my lunch to school since I'm gonna leave here at 11 and I'm gonna pick up Rebecca, we're gonna put the lettuce in here. I'm gonna 
massage the lettuce first because I don't want to get carrot shreds all over my hands. I'm gonna put on this like homemade balsamic vinaigrette dressing on it. Now that's all massage. I don't know how long I've been filming for without filming. Let's hope not long. I'm shredding some carrots in here. That's the cucumber. I also have a tomato for my hands garden. Now the tomatoes. We love that. It's literally 10.50. I'm gonna be done with my lunch by the time I need to leave. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna take two pieces of chicken out of my leftovers and then when we're ready to eat, we'll just shake her up. That was a productive morning. Not really. I'll probably just stay at school if I can find a table and plan everything out. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna wear this. I said I'm gonna pack as my pita chips. This would be so good with my salad. Okay, okay. I need to put my shoes on. This is just... This is so enlightening. Oh, for you to watch, right? Me like just running around like a crazy person. And then get my pita chips. It's pretty good. Keys on me. And then my battery is dying, of course. I'm gonna charge this battery while I'm at school. And then I'll see you afterwards. See how maybe I'll film some clips on my phone. That was a bit overwhelming. Oh my gosh, I am a bit overwhelmed. There was just so many people. And I guess it's because my first year of college was like not normal because a lot of the classes were online. Maybe also because last year, like I didn't know what college was really like. I didn't really have anything to compare to. And also it's like different because I'm driving to campus now. Like last year I lived on campus. So like I had to go find parking and I'm going to eat some lovely donut holes that my cousin brought me yesterday. It would have been even weirder if we didn't have masks on. Like, I'm so glad we have masks on. I'm gonna go that. I am terrible. I'm being honest. I didn't have to show you this. Mm, 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 mm. I was gonna like do a little montage of me like flipping in my planner and writing everything down, but there were so many people and I wasn't sitting like in a booth or anything because I didn't even go inside. One of the classes that hasn't told me anything, I'm going to tomorrow. And then the other one, I'm going to next Wednesday, so. I saw a few people that did not see me like I waited for them to notice me because I wasn't about to like yell across the thing because they were like talking to people, you know what I'm saying? And then they didn't notice me, but it's fine. They could have noticed me and then been too scared to talk to me because I'm just so intimidating. <laughs> Did laundry because I desperately needed to wash my face masks. So there's one thing I've done productive. That's about it though. I feel like this has been like such a boring unproductive vlog because i haven't really shown you anything i've done and also for the last like two hours i haven't done anything but it's five o'clock now and i told myself that at five o'clock i would do my discussion post it's not due for like another week and a half but i just want to go ahead and get it done while there's nothing for me to do because i know that that will change very soon i would say that's pretty successful i finished that in less than 30 minutes so i think what i'm gonna do let's see i have an hour and i'm gonna read those chapters i really hope this has been okay to watch <laughs> for my dinner i'm having leftover bus it's just like pasta leftovers it was from whenever i went home and i'm kind of feeling a cheesy pasta moment because i haven't had a cheesy pasta in like over a year if not more and i really like this cheese so i think i'll probably warm this up a little bit first and then put the cheese on it and warm it up more i mean i don't think it will burn the cheese but i don't want to risk it i'm gonna put probably like a pretty big handful here's my really fancy Linguini, Positano, Postito. I don't know what it's called. Something like that. Oh yeah. There is definitely more of a creaminess to it. Mm-hmm. That's good. And now I'm off to small groups. Cheers. All right guys, so that was my first day of sophomore year. Not really too monumental or too busy or anything, which was kind of nice, but also it was very overwhelming going on to a full-on campus because my first year of college you know it was like mostly online there really wasn't too many people on campus or at least i thought that there was a normal amount but it does not compare and then obviously having a summer class that like no one is at and then going to this is just like insane it's okay we'll get through it we'll get used to it and i just hope and pray that everyone stays safe it's now 10 30 and i'm ready for bed i'm probably 
going to try and read a little bit. First semester, I used to read a book every single night before bed. I want to get back into that, so I guess I'll see how much footage this is, and I'll probably just leave this as a vlog because I feel like I have enough footage for one day. This is just peppermint tea. I actually love to drink peppermint tea after my teeth are brushed because it's just like extra minty, and I don't sweeten it. I used to put agave in it, but now I don't sweeten it, so I don't have to brush my teeth afterwards, and it's just as good. And hopefully I'll go to the gym at some point tomorrow because I haven't been to the gym in over a week. But honestly, I've just been a little scared to go back. You know, the whole summer I had the gym basically to myself because no one is really here. I'm a little nervous, but it'll be okay. I'm hoping I can go after my Spanish class. Since it's the middle of the day, it won't be as busy. But yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love if you subscribe down below. And please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.